we talked last time about Todd, uh, your husband, going rogue. Uh, you haven't gone rogue yet. You haven't given an endorsement. Are you getting any closer to giving an endorsement? Well, I can tell you what I would do if I were a South Carolinian because, uh, you know, well, I'm, I'm a true believer in... Yeah. Well, it, it, if I were a South Carolinian, though, it, it, and each one of these primaries and caucuses are different, Sean, I, I want to see this thing continue because iron sharpens iron, still sharpens still. These guys are getting better in their debates. They're getting more concise. They're getting more um, grounded in what their beliefs are and articulating what their ideas are to get the country back on the right track and get Americans working again. If I had to vote in South Carolina in order to keep this thing going, I'd vote for Newt, and I would want this to continue more debates, more vetting of candidates, because we know the mistake made in our country four years ago was having a candidate that was not vetted to the degree that he should have been so that we know, knew what his associations and his pals represented and what went into his, his thinking, the shaping of who our president today is. That vetting did not take place. I want to see that taking place this time because America is on that precipice. It's that important. We need this process to continue.